Hey everyone, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to cook flank steak. I just realized I don't have a video on this. So before we start with the seasoning and anything else, I'm gonna take you to the oven and show you it's a very easy way and very quick way. I'm gonna show you how to prepare the oven first before we start seasoning. In your oven you have two options, you have bake and you have broil and we are going to use the broiler. So the broiler would be the grill that it's right up here and over here you're the first level to the broiler so we're gonna have to go one level down below the first level otherwise the steak is gonna be burnt on the outside and uncooked on the inside. So we are one level down from the top level. So we will close the oven. Before you start seasoning, you have to do that. And we will set the broiler on high. It has two options. It has low and high. We're gonna set it on high. And while it's preheating, we are going to season our steaks. And just a little uh, useful information here. The flank steak comes from the lower abdominal part, the lower stomach of the cow. So it, it has uh, quite a few muscles, so we have to make it find a way to make it tender and I will show you right now. Also the flank steak I consider it to have top side and bottom side. So the way to recognize it is the top, the bottom side it's much smoother than the top side. So since this is the top side we're gonna season the bottom side first and the only seasoning I'm using it's kosher salt. And I'm using a lot of it, and as I said in many of my previous steak videos where I cook different cuts of beef, kosher salt, it's not as salty as regular salt, so you can be quite generous with it. And make sure that you season your uh, flank steak or whatever meat you cook. This is the kosher salt I'm using. You can use any brand. Uh, and in this case, you don't need a meat thermometer. A lot of people were asking me for recipes without meat thermometer because I always use it. So this one is without it. So make sure you season it just before you put it to the oven, just like with any other cut of meat. Uh, so the kosher salt creates a crunchy crust on the top instead of just sinking, letting it melt and sink into the meat. So now we're gonna season the top side of the steak, the flank steak. And it's not as chewy as the dry tip, but if, uh, if not cooked properly, it could be quite chewy. So I'm gonna tap this down a little bit and we're gonna move back to the oven. So I flipped the flank steak over because I wanna cook the bottom side first and I'm gonna put it in the oven. Now, this is a thinner cut of flank steak. So this is how thin it is. You can, you can find flank steaks that are twice as thick as this one. For, so for this thickness, which is pretty thin, this is the thinnest flank steak I've ever bought. For this thickness, we're gonna do three minutes on the bottom side. So right now I'm gonna place it in the oven, right in the middle, and I'm gonna set my timer for three minutes. Okay, now be right back. All right, so the three minutes are over. So I'm gonna take the flank steak out and I'm gonna flip it over. Just be careful not to burn yourself. Flip it over. Make sure it's nice and flat. So we're now gonna be cooking the top side of the flank steak. And now for the top side, I am going to set the timer to five minutes and let it cook for another five. All right, the five minutes are up. So now I'm gonna let the flank steak rest for 10 minutes and then we'll cut through it. All right, 10 minutes are up and we're going to slice the flank steak. It's not too hot, so I can handle it as such. All right, and the moment of truth, and I just wanna mention a couple of things now don't put any oils or butter on your flank steak when you're or anything that you're broiling in your oven because it's going to start fire because it's so close to the broiler and another thing is that as i said this is a very thin cut of steak this is a grass-fed flank steak or grass-fed grass-finished beef costco which i normally cook it's way thicker and it's cooked differently, so I will make a separate video. So if you're if you're using flank steak that it's that thickness, this is the way to cook it. And I'll make a separate video on the Costco flank steak 
because it's quite a bit different. So now, as you can see, the direction of the muscle goes out this way. So with, with any cut of meat, you have to cut against or perpendicular to the direction of the grain. So we're gonna cut it over this way. And I'm gonna slice kinda in the middle, or I'll start from here. All right. I'll cut a few slices and then I'll show you the doneness of the steak. It is somewhere around medium rare. All right, here it is. And here is the inside, perfectly done. So for people who like better doneness or more done, you can cut the edges for them. And then for those who like it more rare or in the medium rare side, you can cut slices from the middle. And it looks pretty darn good to me. There you go. And you can, you can serve it with a side dish of asparagus or whatever your favorite veggies are. However, I like to use the flank steak for a salad. I toss it in my salad with a bunch of other goodies. I'll make a video on that recipe as well. I call it my Sasha's Cobb salad since it's not the traditional Cobb salad. I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you need to know anything else about uh, flank steak or any other cut of beef, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you. Bye.